I'm Michael Coos with Russ Lacate. Russ, we alluded to it last week, the possibility of some mixed precipitation or some flurries. It looks even a little more intense or potentially a little more widespread than what we were talking about late last week. Yeah, and I think it's because it's coming in a little bit earlier than anticipated as well. When we spoke in the, late last week, it was sort of like late Monday, Monday night, maybe carrying into Tuesday morning. Here we are now, midday Monday, reports of flurries around parts of the lower mainland already, reports of rain showers by the water's edge in parts of Richmond and South Delta. I think that's how it's going to play out. But with all this leftover chilly Arctic air, low dew points, it's very dry, Precipitation will sort of lead to a little evaporative cooling, and we're probably going to get reports of snow just about everywhere today, even down to sea level. But the accumulations, I think that's trouble spots only, and it's higher terrain and especially near the North Shore. And that's where we have the warnings from West Vancouver out to Maple Ridge. So right up against the mountains, we get some upsloping for sure. And the temperatures just aren't there. Daytime highs, even right along sea level, are four degrees. And that's late morning with temperatures coming down one or two degrees. You mm -hmm. get into that danger zone. And it looks like with this wave, there's about 10 millimeters of precipitable water in there. So that's your maximum potential for snow up in the mountains. But everywhere else, it's going to be pretty much mixed. I think so summit earlier today saying with a little rain mixed in you get compacting too so to try to put you know throw the dart and hit this snowfall amount that might be on yeah. the ground in your neighborhood by midnight tonight well that's near impossible but as you mentioned precipitable water eight to ten millimeters worth of it so we're probably looking at about eight centimeters of snow at the upper end of the scale one centimeter at the lower end and of course nothing by the coast yeah, and then after that, this wave moves through pretty quickly. By late day tomorrow, we should be back to a bit of a break and Remembrance Day. I know we're not hitting the cenotaphs this year, but at least uh, the weather looks probably the best of the week. I think so. It's calm. It's relatively dry. There's just a lot of leftover cloud cover starting out maybe a degree or so above the freezing mark and finishing up with a high of seven degrees. So agreeable for Remembrance Day, but trending wet Thursday and Friday. Excellent. Thanks so much, Russ.